Welcome to my work workshop again. Today I'm going to talk about ceramic bearings. Well, you might know that they cost a huge amount of money. If your friends don't think you're crazy into bikes yet, uh, then just buy one of these and they will be sure that you're a complete madman if you do. But what's behind this extraordinary price, mainly if you're talking about ceramic sp speed products? Is it really worth it? Is it really worth the savings? the durability and so on. Well, I think I have been using these products for long enough now to tell you an unbiased and objective truth. So let's get into it. The thing I want to start with is this. This is my old SRAMRAD ETAP pulley with a stock ceramic pulleys in it. And the point I want to make is that it really isn't about the material of the bearing itself because you can make extremely high quality steel bearings and really low quality ceramic bearings so these uh, pulley wheels actually say ceramic on them so let's just give it a spin yeah they're quite smooth the bottom one is a bit draggier so nothing to write home about the, these, but still ceramic. And there are huge amounts of cheap ceramic uh, or so-called ceramic bearings from eBay and cheap Chinese stuff. And it's probably a lot worse than this. But on the other hand, let me show you my ceramic speed pulley wheels that aren't actually ceramic at all. You see, this is a Force 1 derailleur, originally conceived for off-road use. So Ceramic Speed do make uh, pulley wheels, but in order to make them more resistant against the heavy duty use that these are supposed to go through, these bearings are actually steel. So still made by Ceramic Speed, but they are steel and super high quality. So let me just give it a spin. Yeah, quite good. The top one. Well, I. You can see that if I give them even a very light spin, they are super, super smooth. So, yeah. Steel bearings or ceramic bearings, it's not really the question. The question is cheap bearings or high quality bearings can see still super high quality super smooth so that's one thing covered now let's get go through the individual product products that you can actually buy so let's start at the front wheel bearings now some wheel manufacturers uh, really like to advertise that their products are ceramic uh, I've had a luck with one uh, set of wheels that had ceramic speed bearings in those and they were really super smooth but in case you have a really high quality wheel like this zip NSW then the steel bearings in here are going to be really really high quality as well so they're going to be super smooth and about the durability, well, I don't think wheel bearings on a road bike get uh, too much stress in terms of debris and dirt, uh, which is probably the damaging cause that uh, was the thing that damages your bearings. So uh, ceramic speed or ceramic longevity might not be as beneficial. And then if you're talking about friction losses then if you take the inertia uh, of the wheel and the fact that well, basically you're making it turn by putting uh, a force on a tire which has you know you have a large radius and a really small really small friction in the bearing so it's not gonna make that much of a difference really if you look at the uh, physics behind it, well, it, 
it's just my uh, opinion or an educated guess maybe but if you know some more about this uh, topic then don't, don't hesitate to write a comment but anyway if you add the huge huge price for a set of ceramic wheel bearings then even for me you know you may know that I spend a lot of money on my bikes but even for me it's uh, so such a negligible performance gain versus the price that I'm not really going to look into it. So next up we um, have maybe headsets. Ceramic Speed now also makes headsets. I'm, I'm, going, I'm going to be honest with this. I don't think it's worth for anyone outside of their sponsored athletes. Uh, headset bearings are not going to make any difference to how your bike rides and definitely not in any difference to the speed of your uh, bike okay they might be super durable but I have never seen a headset wear out in any modern bike that has been properly taken care of so I'm not really sure about that Definitely a no for me. So let's get go further. Bottom brackets. Uh, this one is a ceramic speed bottom bracket with my special custom aluminum spacer cups. And since we have this one by system, I can show you how that runs, hopefully. Or not really. Yeah, okay, so now I have it on. See? Now, in the end of the video, I'm going to include a comparison with standard Shimano bearings, but you can see that this is some next level smoothness. Right here, I'm not even giving it a big spin, but it just keeps turning over. The bottom bracket is probably the most highly stressed bearing on your bike. And I think it's going to make a big, big difference when it comes to performance, but an even bigger gain in longevity, because most standard press fit bearings are really poor quality and they don't uh, don't really last that long i have one friend who has changed six of standard bb90 bearings in his track in one season and for that he could have had just one ceramic speed one set of ceramic speed bearings so and these these have quite a lot of kilometers in them but if you take take care of them they are going to last forever and also they're machined or made rather to much tighter tolerances so you get less creaking you get more durability you get less play more power transfer possibly so yeah if you ride a lot if you ride your bike a lot then or race then these things are definitely going, going to make a difference. We have already talked about pulley wheels. Well, yeah, the uh, friction gains were obvious. I think you can save around uh, the same amount of friction or what by uh, using some high quality pulley wheels, not necessarily ceramic ones. And another benefit of these is, is that these are machined from a single piece of aluminium. They are hugely stiff compared to the standard plastic ones. So the shifting gains some next level speed and precision in there. So that's another good point. And even with the oversized system, some people says that the oversized system 
shifts like crap, uh, which is true until you adjust it properly and then it works perfectly fine. Uh, I would say, again, thanks to the stiffness of the aluminum pulley wheels, it might be even better than standard. Uh, so these are the individual products you can buy for your bike. Uh, I have already mentioned the uses. If you race or ride a lot, then definitely it's going to it's going to be an improvement, but only if you take proper care of them. Uh, obviously, these bearings use a much more open design. They have uh, less robust seals and less robust uh, uh, greases in them or lubricants. So you really need to keep on top of your maintenance because otherwise it's going to be a really expensive uh, negligence if you don't take proper care of them. Another point I want to make with this is if you take a bearing as a system, actually the seals and the lubricant in there is responsible for most of the friction. So there's always a trade-off between good protection for the bearing, good longevity and high performance. So you have to keep that in mind in, as the weather has not been uh, that great until recently. I still have grease in my oversize system. So it's not running in its optimal mode yet, but I'm going to change that for racing. But since I only use the TT bike, I only have the very light ceramic speed oil in there, so that's why it runs that smooth. So in theory, you can, for racing at least, racing short distances, you could make yourself some really fast bearings by buying some cheap ones that you don't really care about. Just rip the seals off, rip the grease off, out, and put some really light oil in there, so maybe that's uh, that's an interesting thing to experiment with. But if you're after longevity and both longevity and high performance, then yeah, pulley wheels, bottom brackets, they're good things. Thumbs up for them. Headsets, wheel bearing sets, mm, I'm not really sure. Okay, so this is my experience with ceramic and not necessarily only ceramic speed product because I have had great luck with Kogel as well. So make sure to check them out. Uh, I think it's all for today. If you want to see more about my bikes and some more tech related questions, then don't forget to tune into my channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.